Good morning. Afternoon, sorry. Just bear with me a second. I, uh, my husband is a little distracting me a little bit today, and I'm sorry about that. Okay. My string came untied. Um, I'm just going to get, just give me a couple minutes here, and I will get us zoomed in and get everything ready and we will get started. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm del I delayed it a half an hour thinking it would give me enough time and um, I got a little busy. Sorry. I will have it up in just a second. I want to make sure that I um, am in the right group and all that fun stuff. Pull up comments. Hi, Iona. Hi, Melinda. Okay, I, I had to, del I delayed it because I was, Hi, Iona. I was in my office and I was working like a good little soldier and my husband came to the door and he said, I made us a snack. Come and have a snack with me. And I try never to say no to that. <laughs> I try to, whenever he wants to spend time together, to make it happen. So that is what I did. I went and spent a little time with him, and now I'm back. And he's going to go outside and take care of things. Um, check his garden, you know, that normal everyday stuff. Oh. Okay, so we are going to get, I'm just getting everything set up. Bear with me. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> scattered. Hi, Virginia. Thanks, you all. Thank you, everybody, for joining. So today for our coffee and cards, we're going to be using the Cheerful Daisy Bundle. And the let me show you the Designer Series paper. Because Designer Series paper is still on sale until... Um, Designer Series paper is still on sale until Friday. The sale ends on Friday to pick, pick up the Designer Series paper at the sale price. So this is the Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper. Um, I love this. I've been using it a lot. I really like this, these colors, like the end colors, solids on the back, which are not really solids, but pretty close. So I really like that, that we're using, like I said, the cheerful Daisy bundle. Okay. So we're going to get started with our cards first and then we'll come back and we'll do our 3d projects. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with this card. So for coughing, so how coffee and cards works, I'll explain that while I'm getting this one ready. So how coffee and card works is I come on Tuesday, we do our live. Oh yeah, I just got an order because I needed white cardstock, so I had to get it fast. Yeah, I love this set. It is a great bundle. I love that it has matching designer series paper. Um Okay, so, um, what was I saying? Okay, so coffee and cards. So how coffee and cards works is, um, we come on here and I show you how to create three cards and a 3D project. And then if you wish to purchase, uh, if you, if you want the card kits for this coffee and cards, um, this is a little bit long. So if you want, um, Sorry. If you would like to purchase, uh, receive the card kits in the mail from me, then all you need to do is use the link that I will put in the comment section and head over to, um, click on the link and I'll have the host code attached to it and you will just go ahead and, um, I'm going to push that out of the way so I can do some stamping. So 
you will place an order of $30 or more before tax and shipping. And you will get the card kit sent to you. As long as your order is $30 or more, you will get the card kit shipped to you from me with the printed project sheet. Okay. And then so and the kits are, you get, um, with the kits, you get enough stuff to create third, uh, two each of the cards. Okay. And you get enough stuff to create, um, two, two of all three cards and then two of the 3d project also. Okay. So I'm just using the light wild wheat and coloring the center of my flowers. Um, okay. So just using the light one to read. You could use the, if you don't have the blends, you could use the markers or you could use a sponge dauber. That would work too. I'm going to bring the wild wheat ink in and we're going to do wishing you the brightest birthdays. If you know me at all, you know, I love to make birthday cards. I just sat down over the weekend and did my, filled out all my July birthdays. Um, I bought these. So I'll show you. Um, so I bought these really cute, happy birthday stickers. I say birthday greetings. And then they're, let me show you. Um, there's happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And so I bought these so I could put a little sticker on the envelope when I close it. So I just, when I seal it, I, um, just add the sticker to it. It's just something a little more fun. Um, so we're going to get, go ahead and finish this up. So I'm just going to put some seal on the back of my flowers. Okay. And I'm going to put seal on the back of my leaves. And then I need to grab some dimensionals. Okay. So I just want to pop up my greeting. I had an issue last week where a couple, like couple four, three or four nails popped off and I just have not made the time <laughs> to make the appointment. I'm hoping sometime this week to go get my nails done because I'm not liking the no nails. So this is card one of our quick and cute cards or our coffee and cards. Sorry. So let me bring in card number two. Okay. Bring in our kit. So fold our card base. So I was saying earlier, Ayanna said that her order is in picking. I placed an order and I had to pay for faster ship, which I didn't have to. I chose to pay for faster shipping so that I could have it faster because I ran myself completely out of basic white. And if you know me at all, I use basic white for every card. That's like, that's my card base every time. So I was like, Oh, we really need to order paper. So today I have seen this on a plan on my planner groups. It was a Stampin' Up planner group. And this lady said that she, um, hi Tanya. So this lady said posted and she said that she, what she does is she has a running list at the beginning of her planner, like on the month. Um, she, like on the da for me, it'd be on my dashboard or whatever, um, or a paper in the notes section or whatever. But she said what she does is every month she does, um, her, so I'm going to stamp the stem and wild wheat. She put, like, as she finds stuff she runs out of or thinks of something she needs to order, um, she will go ahead and um, I'm going to bring in my Moody Mauve so we can stamp our flower. She adds it to this list. Then when she gets ready to place her order, she has a list to work from that is um, what she wanted, to, you know, anything she might be running low on or 
wants the thing she wants to order. So I thought that was a really cool thing. Um, cause we all know I am, I try not to run out of stuff. Uh, but it happens to the best of us. Where is my oops a daisy? Did I already get it out? No, there it is. I feel like I'm all over the place because I did not set this up before my stamps up before I started. Okay, so there's our greeting and stuff stamped. So now we have to bring in our die. So I'm using the big flower die. We're gonna line it up. Let me grab a post-it note. We're gonna line this up. Put the post-it note on there, and then let's grab the cut and emboss. I need to move my little one over here. I got myself a cart. Um, a rolling cart and another one, and I moved my... Um, cutting a boss machine closer to me so that makes me happy oh Iona you're working with very little supplies then if everything's still packed up oh I I don't know I I I don't necessarily create a project every day but I am in my office every day um, sometimes I just come in and play with my planner and decorate it uh, or, um, and stuff like that. But I'm in here all the time. I can't imagine having all my stuff packed up and not being able to create. I make myself a weekly list and for every month and it just carries over like work wise and then that way I can have all my work stuff done so there's our second card okay we're gonna move on to our third one okay I'm gonna need to clean that those stamps real quick let me grab my scrubber spray some mist Clean our leaf and our stem and our flower. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on our card now that that's all clean. So my husband works from home four days a and in the office in Seattle one day a week. Oh, you share an office? That would be hard. I, uh, I'm the only one that works in this office. It's mine. Ernie does the gardening and everything. He's more of an outside -y guy. And Zach works for a factory. So, um, I have, this is just my room. Always has been for years. When I first started selling Stampin' Up!, which yesterday was my 10 year anniversary. Um, but when I first started selling Stampin' Up!, I did. Um, I need shaded as spruce. I'm going to stamp my greeting. My office stuff, like all my scrapbook stuff, everything, was in our living room. Because <laughs> um, what is now my office was Zachary's playroom, which is my son, who is now twenty, going to be 26 this year. Uh oh. In July 28th, he'll be 26. So, yeah. Thanks, Iona. Um, yeah, I I shared yesterday I, that I was getting, that uh, it was my 25th, or 10th, sorry, 10th anniversary with Stampin' Up! Best decision I ever made. I love being with Stampin' Up! And um, just going to stamp off. And then... Um, I love being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's the best thing ever. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach this with seal. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna bring my paper snips in. I'm just gonna cut this at an angle. I'm gonna do both of them on this one. Then I'm gonna put some dimensional on the back of this and we're gonna pop up our greeting. Okay. The new, Kiana, the new paper pumpkin kit is amazing. I love the June paper pumpkin kit, and I love that it coordinates with the countryside in. Oh, wow. See, we're not that far apart that if you are getting ready to do 10 years too, Iona. Okay, so these are our three cards. Now we're going to move on to our 3D project. Okay, so this is our little 3D project. Very excited to play with this. Okay. This is our little kit. So, we're gonna need to bring in our trimmer. Okay. So, where is my little note? Hmm. I think, let me see. Okay, so here's what I did. I'm gonna score this. These are the labels that go with the countryside corner stamp set. And then, and uh, okay, so that is that. And then I need to bring in. So you'll, I'm going to fold these two score lines and then lay it flat. Then I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal and seal my put seal on the back. You want to put a, a lot. I'm going to show you the dies that I used for this so you can see them. Hi, Donna. Okay, so the this is the countryside stamp set. And then these are the dies. And so what I did was I used the second and the third from the largest, okay? Because they layer perfectly like this. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm just going to rescore this, reburnish it, because I did not score the designer series paper, okay? And then you just need a hole punch. Uh, mine is the uh, We Are Memory Keepers. And you just want to punch a hole right there at the top. But punch both of them. I just punch them both at the same time so that I know it's even. Okay. And then we're going to bring in our, this is the end color, twine. I'm just going to grab a piece of this moody mauve. Okay. And... So I, in my sample, you'll see, I have these little Reese cups of just the individual Reese cup will fit in this. Okay. So you can just buy like, I think there are eight packs now. They used to be 10 packs and you just slide one in. Okay. And then I just hide a knot and then trim up the tails. Okay. Then we're going to do some so I, what I did was I cut another, this is from the daisy dies, and then I have the flower that I layered, and we're going to do, uh, these are mossy meadow leaves, okay, and then I'm going to use two dimensionals and pop this daisy up. So this is an easy, fun one. You could mass produce these really fast. Um, just cut everything down and just put these in here. You could also put little Kit Kats. The little snack size candies works great in these. Um, I did these for my stamp club girls too. Um, and so like the little t uh, eight pack, I guess they are, um, uh, this, uh, I did, I've done Reese's and I've done Kit Kats both. So that's that. So let me show you the cards one more time. Again, if you want the purchase, if you want the card kits, then you just go, use the link that I'll put in the comment section, 
or if you're watching this on YouTube later, it'll be in the description box. If you want to buy these, purchase these kits, you have until July 3rd to play, use that link and place a $30 order before tax and shipping. And then I will send you these card kits with a printable project sheet with all the measurements, the list of supplies and cutting, scoring, all that stuff. Okay. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know and I'll come back and answer them. And then, like I said, if you want to place your order that I will put a link in the comments and you can place your $30 order or more order and you will get the kits. Thank you so much, everybody for joining me. I am so happy to have all you guys join on today. Thank you.